Hello everyone, my name is Brian with RentWorks and today I want to talk to you about pricing your home correctly for the rental market. Now, the way we determine a rental price is by looking at other homes in the area that have recently rented and comparing your home to those. Is your home in better condition than the home that recently rented? Is it in slightly lesser condition? Is it very comparable to this home that just rented? And by looking at this data, we're going to come up with a rental price that we feel is right for your home. Now, of course, we always want to get that top dollar. We want to get the most money in your pocket as possible. But we also have to consider how much time we're spending on the market. The longer we spend on the market, the more it costs you, the homeowner, because you have to pay the bills, the water, electricity, you have to pay the mortgage, um, you know, and you're not getting rental income to support any of that. So you got to be careful when going for that top end price, because if that going for that top end price means that you're going to be on the market 60, 90 days, that's going to, in 95% of cases, not be worth going for because you're going to have to pay the mortgage for those three months. You're going to have to pay bills for those two, three months. Whereas if you would have gone for a, you know, right at market value price, get it rented in a few weeks, start getting income right away, your bills are covered, um, much better scenario. So let's just take an example. Let's do a, you know, a quick example here. So let's say your home market value says your home's supposed to rent for 1500, but you know, you have uh, upgraded sinks or you have an upgraded bathroom and you think it's worth 1600. So getting that extra hundred dollars over the course of a year will net you with a $1,200 gain. So $1,200 extra than maybe the market suggests that you should rent it for. But if getting that higher price, that $1,600 when you should be asking $1,500 means that you stay on the market an extra month, that's a mortgage payment right there. So you basically lost all of the potential increased income you may get by going for that higher price. Even worse, if you go for that higher price, stay on the market a month, and then finally lower it to market value price, then you end up getting the price that the market suggests you go for, and you've already spent another month in the market, so you've had to pay the bills, the mortgage, the electricity, the water for another month. Now, this is something that we think about to get your home not only rented quickly, but for the best price. So if you have any questions about this or anything else, give us a call at 210-497-8686 or visit us online at rentworks.com. Thanks.